On Wednesday, October 7th, Trump posted a video to his Twitter account praising his COVID-19 treatment at Walter Reed Medical Center. In particular, he talked all about the antiviral drug from Regeneron. In this video, he says a lot of bold statements, like Regeneron made him feel amazing in just 24 hours, and how he believes that this is going to be the cure for COVID. He is now pushing for it to get authorization to make it accessible for his country. But is Regeneron really the answer to all our problems? Is the drug as miraculous as Trump claims it to be? Hold tight, I'm gonna answer all these questions and more. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host and voice of reason, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the video, Is Regeneron the Cure for COVID-19? And you all know the drill, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. With that being said, let's dive on into the video. COVID-19 is devastating the entire world. Millions of individuals have lost their lives to the virus, with over 36 million people infected. With that being said, Companies are scrambling to be the first to find the cure, but could it be that Donald Trump has discovered it? So we know that just before midnight on October 1st, the current US President Donald Trump tested positive for COVID-19. On October 4th, it was revealed that the President wasn't doing too well. He was getting treatment at Walter Reed Medical Center, and doctors claimed that his oxygen levels dropped suddenly and drastically. Doctors were worried that his condition was going to worsen. But a short couple of days later, Trump claimed that he was feeling amazing and he was discharged from the hospital. On October 7th, Trump posted a video updating us all on how his treatment was, and how he was able to recover so fast. He thanked it all on Regeneron. He said, and I quote, I walked in, I didn't feel good, a short 24 hours later, I was feeling great. He continued on saying, it was unbelievable, I felt good immediately. The four minute video was all just basically one big praise for Regeneron. In the video, he even said that it was a cure for him. That's a big statement. It got a lot of people's hopes up. Maybe if this drug worked so well on Trump, it could work just as well on thousands of other individuals. But let's look more into this drug and see what it's all about. Regeneron's drug is a cocktail of two monoclonal antibodies. According to the company's statement, these antibodies are designed specifically to block the ineffectivity of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID. One antibody targets the spike protein which the virus uses uses to infiltrate the healthy cells, and the other antibody targets another part of the virus. It said that this prevents the virus from replicating. Sounds pretty impressive. But not only that, the company claims that during its trials, it has found that the treatment has been successful in helping patients whose immune had not begun fighting off the virus already. Regeneron's president, Dr. George Yankopoulos, said, and I quote, the greatest treatment benefit was in patients who had not mounted their own effective immune response. Response, suggesting that Regen CoV2 could provide a therapeutic substitute for the naturally occurring immune response. They are confident it's going to be very helpful when combating this virus. Now, here's the thing the company says that it's meant as a therapeutic treatment, meaning it will help your recovery, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a cure. It's Donald Trump that believes this drug is going to be the key and the cure to our problems. Here's what a former acting director of the US Centers for Disease Control and prevention had to say. He said, it makes sense that a treatment that gives patient antibodies would help the immune system. But he continued on saying that before he jumps to any conclusions like Trump did, he's going to wait until he sees the company's actual data. You can't prove that it works until they conduct a number of studies. Apparently at this time, fewer than 300 patients have received it. Now there has been a spike of interest and a lot more people want to try it out. But as of now, there's not enough studies done on it to make such a bold statement saying it's a cure. But what about the side effects? It would be devastating if this became accessible worldwide, yet had consequences that we don't know about yet. As of now, Regeneron's drug is still in a clinical trial phase. But the CEO of Regeneron, Dr. Leonard Scheffler, said, and I quote, when you weigh the potential benefit versus the risks, the downsides are very low here because we have not seen any safety concerns. Leonard also says, and I quote, this class of drugs is an extremely safe class. On top of that, apparently early data from the company's antibody trials showed that it worked 
fairly safely with few side effects. But again, it's still early on. More tests need to be done and we need to see if there are any long term side effects. Maybe the patients won't have any side effects as of now, but how about in a couple of months or years? We'll see if Trump starts growing an arm out of his belly. I personally always think back to the thalidomide tragedy. Back in 1961, mothers were given a drug to treat morning sickness. It was said to be harmless, but when the babies were born, they suffered severe birth defects, like being born with no limbs or flipper like limbs. I'm not saying this is going to happen, it's just there's still not enough trials done on the drug to really tell what effect it's going to have. Now, Regeneron has applied to the US Food and Drug Administration for emergency use authorization, and President Trump is pushing to make this happen. He already authorized it and claims that they have hundreds of thousands of doses about ready. He says he's going to push it to get it out fast and to get it to those who aren't feeling well. He says everyone should get the same treatment as the president. He goes on calling it a huge blessing and promises that with this drug, everyone is going to get better fast. But Dr. Anthony Fauci, top US infectious disease expert, said that he is strongly suspicious of Regeneron's drug. He doesn't really know if Regeneron is what contributed to Trump's progress. And some are even suspicious about this whole thing in the first place. In Wednesday's video, Trump said that he thinks getting COVID is actually a blessing in disguise for him because he was able to see just how well the Regeneron drug works. But some people think maybe he didn't even have COVID in the first place. Maybe this whole Regeneron drug thing is a scheme for him to get reelected. I mean, look at it this way. Trump gets COVID, then a company fostered by the Trump's administration cures COVID, Trump's gonna take all the credit. How good would it look on him if the drug was a huge success and helped thousands of people? A lot of people might change their opinion on him. So maybe it's part of a grand scheme to get him reelected. If this is true and he wasn't actually on the Regeneron drug, that means we truly don't know how effective it is. But conspiracy theory aside, if the Regeneron drug did help in Trump's healing process, maybe it can help thousands of others. Although Trump Trump markets it as a cure, Regeneron is saying that it is just a therapeutic drug. It will help you fight COVID, not eliminate the virus for good. We need to look at the bigger picture. Trump is just one person out of millions. Everybody is different. What worked for him might not work for me and you. And like I said before, the drug is only effective for those that are at a certain stage with the virus. So it's not going to be the best match for everyone. The patients most likely to benefit from it will be those that had a similar case of COVID as to Trump, as in they had undetectable antibodies at baseline and were early in the course of the disease. It won't work for everyone, but certainly it might be a step in the right direction. What's good is that Trump is going to work to get this drug out to Americans for free. He said for seniors, he's going to get it to them quick. As of now, there are enough doses available for 50,000 patients. Within the next few months, they're going to have enough doses for 300,000 patients. Those next months are going to be crucial. That's when we find out how effective this drug is. We are going to see the number of people that it helped versus the number of people it didn't help. If it helped a high percentage of people, then this drug is going to tremendously help us all. Again, it won't cure COVID, but it may greatly help with the treatment process. That is pretty significant. If it can help the recovery process, it could potentially save millions of lives. We just have to wait a couple more months for more trials to be completed first. But if the Regeneron drug seems to fail, not to worry, there are tons Tons of other drug companies trying to help come up with the cure for COVID. And that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments for my video. What if Donald Trump passes away from COVID? Which he's probably not because he seems so much better now that he's on Regeneron. Lindsay Ivan commented, stay to the end for some bloopers. Oh. What, it's me? Yeah, I was excited for the bloopers because this is the first time on this channel that like we've shown our mess ups, but then like only two people liked the comment and then Clumsy Studios replied to my comment saying, buried comment on the video you starred in. RIP Lindsay. I know, it's sad, it just got buried. No one cares about my bloopers, but I hope you guys like them. Let me know in the comments down below if you like seeing our little bloopers and mess ups. Audric Tapia commented, if Trump does die, I think Karens might wear a mask now. Honestly, it would scare them. Guys, wear your masks, okay? and make sure it's covering your nose. Like it just defeats the purpose if your nose is exposed because then the virus can enter your nose that way. Like, come on. The real Obama commented, Obama says, Obama predicted this. Barack Obama, is that you? It must be because their username is the real Obama. So it, it's clearly the real Barack Obama. Okay, tell, tell Michelle I say hi. 
Well, thank you. <laughs> AMRBLK commented, my wife was Trump supporter. She calling him clone now. Well, I'm confused. Your wife thinks that he's a clone? Okay, this is my next video. What if Donald Trump was a clone? And that's all the comments I'm showing up for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to life's biggest questions for more thought provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube.